So we're back inside at the shop now. I've got some supplies and tools laid out for my next step. We're going to be masking uh, for the red stripe or black stripe, depending on your perspective. On the locomotive, I've got my blue painter's tape, uh, 3M blue painter's tape, uh, two different sizes, a sharp X-Acto knife, a, uh, a piece of granite that I'm using for cutting on, and the decals, so I have a guide to um, where I'm actually laying decals on or what decals I've got to put on. Um, speaking of which, I did um, reference uh, prototype photos again of the DSRC 76 um, to view where the colors should separate in. And if you if you can see here, I've kind of uh, looked and, and seen the overall height, uh, a good benchmark. It's, it's nice to have something to uh, to look at, and all the decals are at uh they basically come through or the uh, paint separation starts from the red the red stripe here to the uh, white separator to the black on top of the hood is going to come right through that headlight housing there so that's a good reference uh to get my height for the rest of the uh the engine and and through the uh cab windows and i can look at those cab windows too online and make sure how how high up that red uh, stripe comes uh, that's a good thing to do as well. I did put the cab back on the shell here. I'll probably take it back off before painting, uh, being it'll be easier to seat the uh, decals, or excuse me, the uh, masking tape around the uh, corners and things, and uh, get a good sharp um, separation of colors between the uh, the red and the black. Although we will be using a white separator stripe, um, just the decal, um, Circus City, um, Matt uh, Welke, uh, gave us a white separator stripe to do um, that line there, uh, being we'll be painting the black on the uh, the top part of the locomotive and on the top of the hood and on, on the top of the roof. So we'll get started, um, and I'll show you how I do things here. What I neglected to show you in that first shot there is that uh, I do use a couple of straight edge tools typically in my masking. Um, what I'll do is I'll lay a piece of blue painter's tape on... Um, on this flat cutting surface. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be granite for you if you've got a good thick thick piece of glass to cut on or if you've got uh, like a cutting mat or whatever. Um, whatever your choice is, but um, I like to have um, break my tape down a little bit uh, into more manageable pieces. Sometimes the nas masking a narrow stripe, uh, especially around corners and stuff, is good to do with a little bit uh, uh, less wide. Even than this inch painter's tape here, I would break that down probably into quarter inch sections or maybe even smaller than that. So that's what we intend to do with this wide stripe here, and uh, I'll show you that here now. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay this and kind of just eyeball it because um, what we're looking for is a straight edge here and I'll always prefer to use the cut edge rather than the factory edge because I've I've heard it many times and be careful not to uh, cut any fingers there as you go along with the uh, hobby knife and I'm going to cut there to make a straight edge and discard the the extra on the ends so we won't be needing that. And again, making sure not to cut fingers or anything. This, these hobby knives are super sharp. And probably what I'll do is I'll cut this in half. Um, being we only got a very short hood here. And you'll see, you start to see, and I'm, I'm actually going to cut a couple more pieces here for us to work with. You start to see a challenge here emerge. with the uh the slant on that nose is unique i guess to that uh well a unique unique feature a unique spotting feature of that uh, 70 tonner locomotive where the the nose kind of slants down so we come up come uh with a flat piece of tape here and that class light is going to mess us up too uh so we'll probably mask below that immediately below that coming through it looks like it's slightly above center line there we're going to have our tape come right there and then around the corner but what's going to happen is you make a 90 degree angle here and that tape's going to want to angle off down to the bottom being this is a you can see there's a slight slope on that um, I'm not sure what angle that is, but that's not going to give us a uh, square corner here. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask that piece separately and then continue with the uh, the masking tape, a flat piece across both sides here. 
You can see we got a little bit of a mishap here, but that's fine. Uh, the black will cover that up when we cut when we uh, paint our our flat black on the top and on the bottom. So what we're effectively looking for here is masking all of this red area. We'll be covering that up um, with the Circus City decals, um, the black and the white separator stripe, and um, then. We will be painting black down on the side sills, the uh, walkways, and the uh, step wells, and on the pilot ends. And what I'm doing here now is laying that first piece of tape on, trying to get that to as closely as possible to the center line of the headlight housing for the prototype photos. And what I what I told you ends up being true with that uh, tape kind of veering off to the, uh, uh, towards the, uh, the running board here. And that's fine. What we'll do is we'll, around the corner, we'll continue this line towards the cab uh, with another piece of tape. That'll be fine. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And again, we are going to place that tape. Sometimes it helps to uh, to use the uh, the knife actually to place the tape specifically. And we're not too worried about um, the exact placement right there on the headlight housing. Um, we're probably going to paint that uh, a silver color. And that one wasn't so bad. Um, this one actually, and we're going to burnish this all down. Uh, right under that class light again. We're going to paint, paint that headlight housing silver, I would imagine. And then um, and then we're going to, again, continue the uh, stripe across there uh, towards the cab. So it looks to me like it would be the best to continue uh, as a guide using the top of the top of those doors. We'll just go straight along the top of those doors, uh, probably referencing uh, prototype photos before I actually do that, just to make sure we're we're not uh, off on the cab, but that's where we want to be with uh, getting on to the, uh, towards the uh, rear of the locomotive. And I'm glad I checked my uh, prototype photos. The, uh, the uh, prototype photos actually show um, that headlight housing is a ways down from the top of the locomotive, uh, from the nose, and uh, the, uh, the paint separation between that white separator and the uh, the red here is actually a little ways down on the door. So uh, we're going to place that tape there and then uh, bring the uh, bring the tape straight across on the shell. Um, it looks to me like a few inches below the top of the doors, those access doors um, on the shell here. And then that way we get to the right place on the, on the shell. It looks to me like per prototype photos, probably about... 10 to 12 inches up on the cab and that would give us about that right so probably 10 to 12 inches uh, below the top of the doors would would be the same separation so there's again there's a red stripe that continues through here and then the black is a little further down you'll see what i mean when we get uh, uh, decals laid on so we have the first piece of tape put on the uh the right side of the hood here uh, that looks good, and a few inches down on the prototype um, from the top of the doors. Um, I think that'll that'll be good. Um, I'll show you how to burnish that tape down, um, but first we'll do the other side. So I'm going to line that uh, that corner up real tightly with the the tape that's already there, and continue that line per what we said, just a little ways below the tops of those doors. And then we're going to uh, seat that tape down in the corner there and uh, bring it around the side of the cab. We don't want it to come up quite that far. Perhaps what we'll do is just use that as a mark and cut it there and bring another piece of tape around. It looks like that's good. Um, good and straight around there. 
And what we'll do is on this edge to make this edge even sharper. So if you don't listen to anything else I say here, uh, do this. Besides knowing what prototype you're you're modeling and, and where the paint's got to go and having that part well researched, make sure that you seat that tape down. And the way you do this is with, uh, I forgot another piece of supplies here, um, with a toothpick, um, you run that toothpick along and make sure you get that tape, and this tape is pretty elastic. Um, seat that tape down around all those details, and there's not that much relief on this particular shell. This tooling, they didn't do a whole lot with uh, door latches or anything like that. Maybe there's not that much to do, um, but we want to get that tape seated down in all those nooks and crannies to make sure that the uh, paint, if there is any wet paint that hits the model, that it doesn't run down in, in behind the paint. That's the last thing you want to hear in this case is uh, the paint to run down um, behind your masking tape. So the way we do that is to seat that tape, uh, burnish it down with a uh, with a uh, toothpick or whatever other tool you like to use, but just make sure it's relatively sharp, not not puncturing the tape, but make sure you seat that tape down on the on the shell very well. So we're going to continue masking um, that line around the cab. I'm just going to continue. And again, referencing prototype photos where they're available. And they are available. There's no excuse to, to model any any engine these days without having um, good reference photos. That's uh, the number one command um, to have to know what you're modeling. If you want an accurate model, that is. Maybe you don't care. And some guys don't. But... Um, in this case, we are looking for a model of something very specific. So, And I'm going to cut that tape in between there so we can take that, uh, that cab back off. So what we're going to do now is place tape down to the bottom of the shell here, down to the running board, and down to the bottom of the, uh, the cab detail here. So we've got that cut in both places. We'll probably mask on the inside. Um, and around this corner here, you see there's a little bit of red showing. We'll want to take care of that. And all the way down to the bottom of the cab and onto the running board on the uh, the engine shell or the, the hood, sh hood part itself. So what we had happen here is I discovered that this, uh, that inch painter's tape, uh, that inch wide, that narrow stuff, is too tall actually to fit in between the, uh, the top of the, uh, where the red has got to be. And the uh, running board. We want the uh, running board to be black, of course. And I'm just going to bring that around and seat that right next to. And of course, that doesn't fit well because of that. That slant on the nose again. So I'm actually going to take that back and uh, tear it right here. Put my knife down first and we'll come back and uh, take care of that later and here we don't care so much about sharp separation we do want sharp separation um, between the running board and the the uh, hood itself we're going to start from the cab end because that's where it's square and um, a lot of times, um, this black anti-skid material is applied to running boards on these engines, and at least with the Burlington Northern, I've heard that was applied with a broom. And sometimes um, that black material, um, that black anti-skid, got up on the uh, on the engine room doors and everywhere else for that matter. So having Having not exact paint separation in this area is not the end of the world, uh, but we're going to do the best we can. So we've got a little bit of a stripe there to cover up. We'll take a uh, scrap here and uh, go with that. So this is pretty good. Um, 
again we'll fill in next to those cab doors continue that separation stripe that separation around the corner here uh, just so we got a good again sharp because we don't want any any black paint on that area down where the red stripe should be so again we'll do that on the other side here and as a note uh, that true color paint um, I don't know what I've been calling it but um, really dried pretty quickly yesterday so I could have gone on to this step yesterday but I had other things going on um, and again we'll need the uh, toothpick in here to burnish that tape down and I don't know if the camera can see this um, but once we do that you press that tape down you can see that window gasket detail uh, prop right out from around that masking tape and that's really what we want to do on all surfaces on the locomotive here we want to get that tape down sharp especially around the window sashes here Again, we're not looking to puncture the tape. We're just looking to seat it down around all those detail surfaces. I don't know if can you see that or not in there, but we're really looking to get that tape seated down in those areas. That's where we want to be on that. So there's no, there's no messing around. And actually we're going to... Uh, on the it's important to do on the uh, raised surfaces too uh, we talk about the uh, the surfaces in between but we also need to do that pay attention to doing that on the raised surfaces so we don't get paint running under like i said those window sashes and whatever so and we'll go on to doing the same thing with the long hood and i'll be back with you when we get when we get finished with the masking here so i'm going to use some of the tape that i have left over to cover up the remaining part of the uh, cab here um, we're not going to be too careful um, we just want to avoid getting in the way of any of the uh, paint that's got to go on the black portions we're just trying to avoid getting black paint um, below where there should be only red um, you can see that armrest detail is messing us up there around that corner. But again, we're not being very fussy here. Um, we've gotten through burnishing all the tape down. You can kind of see that uh, with both the uh, engineer side and the fireman side doors around the windows. I've gone and burnished all the tape on the on the hood here. And we're, looks like, ready for black. <laughs> 